Hola, SAP developers. In this short SAP Tech Bytes, we will explore the SAP Discovery Center, and we will see its two main parts, missions and services. Let's get to it. This is the SAP Discovery Center. You can access it by going to discoverycenter.cloud.sap. The homepage is mainly divided in missions and services. So let's check out missions first. You will find different use cases that you can implement in SAP BTP. It also includes best practices and step-by-step -step guidance for implementing use cases. As you can expect, you can search and filter missions based on your needs and what you're interested in learning. Today, I'm interested in extending SAP S4 HANA. Let's see if I find a mission that will help me get familiar with the process. I can see here that there is a mission called Setup for SAP S4 HANA Side-by-Side UI Extensions on SAP BTP. Let's go into it. The overview gives me a high-level overview of what the mission is a high-level solution diagram, as you can see, of the end state of our mission. Below, it includes details on the different services and components that I'll be using, getting familiar with as I go ahead and complete the mission. Now let's go to the project board. In the project board, you can see the different tasks that I need to complete in order for me to be able to complete the mission. It teaches the basics on each service that's involved, and it gives us also a rough estimate on how long it will take us to complete this mission. Every step in each mission is very well documented. The mission offers step-by-step -step guidance on how to implement the solution. It is a very easy way to get to understand how different components in SAP BTP integrate or how you can get them working together. To access an item in a mission, you first need to start the mission. If you're already familiar with some of the services listed here, you might be able to skip some of the boxes. As you can see, some of them are also optional. Now let's move to services. Here, you will see all the services that are available in SAP BTP. Depending on your agreement or contract with SAP, you might have access to all of them or just a subset of them. For example, we can see that some services are new or featured and even part of the free tier. Let's filter by all the services that are part of the free tier. Now, it's only listing all the services that are part of the free tier. Let's go to one of my favorite services, the SAP Business Application Studio. When we access the service, it gives us a brief overview of what the service is. We can see a slideshow with some screenshots. And even a video, so we can have an idea of what the service looks like. It also provides us with links to different resources like the help documentation or tutorials that can help us get started and direct access to the topic page in SAP Community. In the related missions section, we can see different missions that we can complete in order to get familiar with the service. Note that not all services have missions associated to it, but most of them have. We can see here that the mission we previously explored to set up S4 HANA for side-by-side -side UI extensions on SAP DTP is available here. In the roadmap section, we can learn what's in the feature for this particular service. This is the same information that you will see in roadmaps.sap.com. In the customer stories section, you can get inspired by how others are using the service and learn what they're able to achieve by adopting it. Not just that, but how a solution has been used in conjunction with other services to innovate in their companies. The pricing section will show me the different models and service plans that this service is available. For example, the Business Application Studio is available on the Cloud Platform Enterprise Agreement, Pay-as-you-go, Subscription Model, and Trial. Here, we can also see how much it will cost us to adopt a service, depending on the plan selected. Also, something that influences the price is the region under which the service will be deployed. We can find all the regions where a particular service is available by clicking the regions drop down here. Now we're back on the home screen. And I just want to point out the link galaxies that you are able to access from here. From here, we can go to the API Business Hub and check out the integration content that's available, see more of the customer references that are available. Also, 
link to the SAP tutorial so that you can get familiar with uh, the different products, links to the SAP community, the Roam of Explorer, and even a link to the SAP store so you can check out applications developed by partners. I hope you now have an understanding of what you'll be able to find in the SAP Discovery Center. Not just that, but also that it can help you get inspired and you can learn how you can adopt different components in SAP BTP and how they interact with each other.